I'm Bob Arum, and welcome to Hashtag Come Back to Boxing's HBO special. Goodbye, HBO. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Jay Cotto. What's up, everybody? All right, what's going on, everybody? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, of course, we're all here because, uh, you know, HBO basically... uh, no longer will be having uh, HBO Boxing. And, uh, of course, uh, I brought on two very special guests, you know. And, of course, we all know them, you know. Uh, of course, we have uh, Bob Arum with us, who will join us a little later in the broadcast, along with Mike Tyson, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I brought a little special guest on, too, as well. Uh, I've got uh, Vince McMahon on, as well. You know, Vince McMahon will be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll be on here. Yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Shut the fuck up. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, here it is, man. Um, you know, HBO has given us great, 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 great fucking matches. You know, um, I remember the first match I saw was uh, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard versus uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Um, right on HBO. Um. I remember the the pay per views and oh man, it was it was so great. And I remember when HBO first started and the pay per views first started. When you weren't able to get any of the pay per views at home, you would have to go to theaters, you know, and you would have to pay a certain you know a certain fee in order to get it a closed circuit TV, you know, um, or closed circuit theater. And it, it was it was it was awesome, man. You know, those times were awesome. Of course, you know, technology has has you know. Went on ahead. Now we've had boxing in our lives, and of course, boxing is a tradition. You know, it's it's always been here for us, and we're there for it, and you know, we support it. And we've seen the ups and downs of boxing. And uh, there's one gentleman that I'd like to bring out right now that can also help me piece together this uh, story of HBO. And uh, well, I'd like to bring out none other than Mr. Bob Arum himself. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? All right, let's do this again. Mr. Bob Arrow himself. Oh, boy. Thank you, thank you. Jeff, how are you? How are you, Jeff? I'm good, Bob, I'm good. Listen, uh, so tell us. You know, uh, the days of HBO... You know? Oh, I remember, I remember. I, uh, I used to promote a lot of fights, and, uh, you know, uh, when Manny Pacquiao first came up, way, way before Manny Pacquiao, there were many other fights, and, uh, the atmospheres, uh, that were either in Atlantic City or any other venue. Of course, HBO was there. Now, of course, Jim Lampley, Larry Merchant, those those guys, they're they're real pros, aren't they? Do you agree? Yeah. Right? Yes, real pros. Oh, definitely. And 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 I I oh, I used to love I used to love the way they used to you know always bring on uh you know other other boxing stars you know. There was a time, uh, you know, where George Foreman was at the helms, you know, for a while. George Foreman, definitely. You know? Yeah. Big George. Yeah. yeah. Big George Foreman. I remember, yeah. And, and I, I used to like when he used to, when he used to always, always correct 
Jim Lampley on a lot of things. Yep, <laughs> I remember. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But HBO, they they always supported the sport of boxing, and they always did what they could, you know, for us and uh, me as a promoter, and uh, just them giving me and giving my fighters the business. Uh, HBO. You can basically say that uh, they are the forefront of of boxing. You know, uh, yeah, I, I'd have to say that. You know, I agree. I agree. And well, of course, there's going to be another gentleman I'm going to bring out, and you're familiar with him, Bob. You know, um, ladies and gentlemen, former heavyweight. Or should I say, former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the youngest heavyweight to ever do it. Iron Mike Tyson. What's up, Bob? Oh, this is great. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Mike, how are you, baby? How are you? This is awesome. Hi, you guys. Look at the crowd. They're just awesome. That is too kind. Too kind, too kind. You know, I, I just want to say that um, I remember the days of HBO, you know, um, a lot of fights that we used to put together. Um, the hardest fight that I ever had to put together was the Van der Holyfield fight, you know. And then, of course, the Lennox Lewis fight. Ah, uh, yes, I remember her. Uh, yeah, the Lennox Lewis fight. That was you and Lennox Lewis and uh, HBO and uh, Showtime. And there was a lot of, a lot of poppycosh going on back and forth between the networks, I remember. Yeah, that was, that was some crazy shit. Exactly, you know, so just making that fight with, with, you know, that's one of the things that I remember. And as well as, uh, you know, com coming up, you know, when I used to fight the guys that, you know, at the time with nobodies, and then at the same time, the guys that would be on mediocre, and then as I kept going on, um, you know, but before I go on, I just want to say, fuck you, Teddy Atlas, you know what I'm saying, fuck you, Teddy, that's right, whoa, whoa, Mike, why, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What, what's going on, Mike, what's, well, first of all, you know what I'm saying, I, I just want to say, fuck you, Teddy, because, you know, you're trying to say that, that I, I, I'm not even worth being, you know, called top five and I never fought nobody. Well, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. But like I was saying, as I kept going on the business and I kept, you know, moving on up with Don King and making a lot of money and fighting these guys, uh, all of them core, you know, it, it, it was just an awesome experience with these guys. You know, these guys, Along with me, you know, they made my legacy and uh, Bob as well as the promoter, you know, and uh, I, I don't know what Vince McMahon is going to do here, Jeff. I mean, you know, that's another question I want to ask you. Like, what the fuck is Vince McMahon going to be on a boxy program? What the fuck, man? You know, I would like to know, like, what, what, what the hell? Well, <laughs> well. Simply because he's, you know, I mean, didn't he give you a hand in, in WrestleMania? Oh, he, okay, not that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I got you. Check me. Shut the fuck up, Bob. Mike, Mike. Why? What the? Mike? Okay. So, like I was saying, it was a very great experience for me, especially at my time coming up, you know? And I like to thank HBO, um, as well as me, you know, watching the fights ringside, uh, being at home as well, it was a great experience, you know. So, I, I, I like to say hats off to HBO and uh, thank you very much, HBO. All right, definitely. And, uh, well, you know. You guys, knowing HBO so well and doing business with them and them helping you with your legacies and everything, I, I, I'm more than sure that uh, 
you know, it's 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 something that's that's missing. You know, it's something that's going to be missed. And uh, you know, you know, Jeff. At the same time, I just have to say it brings fucking tears to my eyes. You know, I mean, I understand it's the future and stuff, and stuff got to move on and stuff and stuff like that. But this stuff got to stop. Wow, Mike, that that's a fucking tongue twister. But yeah, this shit does have to stop. And um, well, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing more we can do. You know, there's nothing more we can do. I mean. It is what it is. I wonder what's going to happen to, you know, the Lampley now, you know, and uh, Max Kellerman, you know, Roy Jones. I mean, he just retired. Like, what's he going to do? I'm more than sure the other guys will pick him up. Oh, more, more, most definitely. Most definitely. And uh, I'm more than sure, like, ESPN and uh, uh, Eddie Hearn over in England. Uh, he just got something with uh, this ad, app called uh, Dazen. I'm more than sure that uh, those guys would be very useful over there if uh, we don't pick them up here in the American market. But I'm, I'm, I'll be more than happy to work with any of them, really. I mean, you know, that's a good idea, Bob. That's a very good idea. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially if, uh, especially if it went over uh, to the UK as well. I mean, uh, you've got uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. Who supposedly going to work with Dazen? So uh, I don't see any problem with that, you know. Definitely not, Bob. Definitely, I mean, you make a good point, you know. And and it'd be great, you know, to have to to, to have them just moving around and and talking out. Max Kellerman should be fine because he's over at ESPN, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I see him all the time. He's, he's all the time in ESPN. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. So. I think he should be safe. Yeah, he's in the safe zone. He's all right. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a cool guy. You know, he still needs a little more boxing knowledge, but he's a cool guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Good old baby face Max. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, guys, uh, it seems like uh, Vince McMahon is not going to be able to come. Uh, you know, uh, he's busy at the moment. Uh, he just dropped something, but but he did promise uh, to come up live sometime. I don't know when. Uh, well, that's not good enough. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say, fuck you, Vince McMahon. <laughs> fuck you. What are you trying to say? That 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 Bob, myself, and Jeff, we're, we're not good enough for your time? Well, it's all good, okay? I'm going to say it once more. Fuck you. And also on behalf of HBO, fuck you. Well, just want to say thank you for joining. This has been our tribute. I'd like to thank Val Barron for being here. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much for inviting me. And also, I am Mike Tyson. Awesome, thanks guys, thank you guys And uh, well, this has been a tribute And uh, well, good night guys And uh, well, of course HBO will be sadly missed But we'll always have YouTube and other shit to play back on Otherwise than that, I'm Jay Cotto I'm Mike Tyson <sighs> And now I'm Bob Arum You guys, have a good night God bless, stay vigilant Peace Hashtag come back to boxing. Tribute to HBO. Has been brought to you by Bob Arum's Nose Hair Guy. Yeah. <laughs> and Mike Tyson's depositories. Guys, what the fuck?